Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. This is a trade I'm kind of disappointed in Jerry Jones in. I don't think it should have happened. I'm completely against it, but it's great for the Cleveland Browns. Yes, Amari Cooper was traded to the Cleveland Browns. So again, a trade I'm not so optimistic about, especially for the Cowboys. Why would they do this? I mean, I don't like the fact they sign all these players to huge contracts, but Amari Cooper was one of the few that was holding up his end of the bargain. I mean, I don't get why they wouldn't go and release Ezekiel Elliott. I sort of get the Jalen Smith release, although Leighton Van Der Esch has been worse, so now they're going to have n only Micah Parsons and maybe Keanu Neal in that linebacker room. So I don't love that one either, but especially this one. They should have released Ezekiel Elliott. Instead, now they've traded Amari Cooper. Now, it's good that they got something for Amari Cooper, but all they did was swap sixth-round picks and get a fifth rounder, but can't blame them with that contract. Anyways, Ezekiel Elliott is an older running back, getting up there in age, and they have Tony Pollard. Who's after Amari Cooper? Okay, fine, they have C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, but Michael Gallup is heading into free agency. They did not franchise tag him. I will be making a video about the franchise tag soon, if you're wondering. Anyways, they didn't franchise Michael Gallup, he could easily leave in free agency now. And then they'll go, as one article I read phrased it, they'll go from three number one receivers to one, C.D. Lamb. Cedric Wilson could be a number two option if they manage to re-sign him, but again, I think there'll be some teams that are looking for a number two option that will be willing to pay top dollar for Cedric Wilson. Michael Gallup, again, he'll be looking for more money than the Cowboys can likely afford. So... I think, just like I said in the Carson Wentz video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, teams need to have their plan in order before they trade their player. Now, um, this is less dire than the Carson Wentz situation because they still have C.D. Lamb, who's a great number one receiver. But they should have released Ezekiel Elliott. I don't know why they wouldn't. He's been playing awful for his contracts, at least, in the past two years. And they have a true number one running back in Tony Pollard. I don't get it. I do not get it. I also don't think they should have released Jalen Smith. Made a video about la that. Leave it a link in the description. But didn't talk about how much I hated it. Because look at this. They could have tried to restructure his contract at least because he was playing well. Leighton Van Der Esch has not been. He wasn't before. He still isn't. So I, they could have tried to keep Jalen Smith. They should have kept Amari Cooper. I think these Cowboys are ruining their team. I think they're going to underperform again this year because... Like, Dak Prescott's great, don't get me wrong. Ezekiel Elliott's still pretty good. C.D. Lamb's great. Tony Pollard's a great number two back. But I still think, with losing certain players in free agency, this was not the best way to free up cap space. Now, at least they got a trade out of it, not releasing him. But still, they're likely to lose Leighton Van Der Esch. Of course, that's not going to make a difference, but they'll... Might also lose Keanu Neal. Probably lose Randy Gregory in free agency. So, here you're losing all of your defense. I don't think the Cowboys are going to be as good as they should be next year. Again. Because they've, they're going to go back to not a great defense. Now, better than in past years. Because Dan Quinn's a good defensive coach. But... I don't like... The Cowboys, I think, have screwed themselves big time. That's for sure. Okay, enough talk about the Cowboys. 
What about the Cleveland Browns? Well, they just did great on this trade. Now, I know they're taking away all of Amari Cooper's contract, but they trade a fifth rounder for a number one receiver. Plus, now they've got Baker Mayfield a true weapon. Jarvis Landry was himself, and now they've also granted permission for Jarvis Landry to seek a trade. I don't think he will. I think he's better off to stay as a number two role, but he could seek a trade and go somewhere else to play with a good quarterback. Anyways, Baker Mayfield now has a weapon so he can prove himself. He has a good receiving weapon, and he's also got a couple running backs in Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb, the best duo in the league. So I think the Browns should improve. Baker Mayfield doesn't improve this year. He shouldn't be an NFL starting quarterback. Because they've given all they can. And I just got a notification, so I've got to go back to the Dallas. Michael Gallup just re-signed with the Cowboys. So I take it back. Why? What is it with people notifying me while I'm filming these videos? <laughs> Anyways, let me look at the contract for a minute. Michael Gallup is re-signing with the Cowboys on a five-year, $62 million deal. That just came out a couple seconds ago. And it's just a source. It's not official, but I'm pretty sure I believe it. I still think that's overpaying and a bit long of a contract for a receiver who's injury-prone, but... Now they've saved themselves. Now they have that plan. Now they'll have CeeDee Lamb and Michael Gallup. So now I completely take back everything I said earlier in this video. Because Michael Gallup's still cheaper than Amari Cooper. So now they can clear more cap space to fix the defense. So I kind of take back everything I said. I think the Cowboys still kind of screwed themselves. We'll see. But... I think they're going to be better than I was saying earlier in this video. Now, going back to the Browns, because I kind of interrupted myself there. Baker Mayfield needs to succeed this year. And I think the Browns hit a home run with this trade because they got him all the weapons now to succeed. Now, they could kind of use a number two receiver if they trade Landry, but... Mari Cooper is still better than any option they've had in the past five years. So, I quite like this trade for Cleveland. And now I like it for Dallas as well. So, I'm optimistic again. Now, it also frees up the draft for Cleveland at least. Because now, they can draft someone to pair with Miles Garrett and Jadavion Clowney if they re-sign him as well. So, I think this is a great move. Now, their defense can be Jeremiah Owusu karamoa maybe Jadavion Clowney, and Miles Garrett, and a rookie they draft. So, yeah, now they do not need a receiver because they've got all these other pieces. So, now they can focus on the rest of the roster, specifically another person to pair with Miles Garrett because the rest of the roster is really good. So hopefully for the Browns' sake, Baker Mayfield can play mediocre and then the team's back in the playoffs. That's my prediction. And the Cowboys now also wouldn't have to draft a receiver. I wasn't predicting them to anyways. But now they have two number one receivers again. Michael Gallup and C.D. Lamb. Now I think this is a great move for both sides. So, yeah. And I'm glad I wasn't editing this video when that came out. I was still making it. Thanks for watching.